So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Scott. I'm a practicing physician assistant working in endocrinology. I'm also a type 1 diabetic. If you're interested in diabetes related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be coming out with new content all of the time. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the most advanced insulin pump that's currently in development, and that's the islet bionic pancreas. So this pump is getting much closer to commercial launch, and they recently completed a pivotal trial which showed very promising results. So today I wanted to go over the results of that trial as well as talking a bit about the pump. So let's go ahead and get started. So out of all of the automated insulin delivery systems that are currently on the market, the T-Slim, the Omnipod 5, the tech in this pump completely blows those out of the water. So what is it that makes this pump so much better? Well, to start, this pump does not require or even allow any manual bolusing. Every single drop of insulin that you get from this pump is completely automated. So there's no more insulin to carb ratios, no setting basal rates, no setting correction factors. You don't even have to put in how many carbs you're eating for the current meal. That's both exciting and obviously a little bit scary putting all of your trust into a piece of technology to control all of your diabetes care. So let's talk about when you first start up the pump and basically the only parameter that you have to set into this thing. So when you first start the pump, the only piece of data it requires to get started is just your weight. That's it, it just wants to know how much you weigh. So after that, the only input it requires from you is just to know when you're eating and is it breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And then within a couple days, the algorithm will start to learn your insulin requirements. And then the only other follow-up question it'll ask you when you tell it you're having breakfast, lunch, or dinner is basically just, are you eating the same amount you had yesterday? Are you eating less or are you eating more? And then based upon that information, it's gonna give you 75% or approximately 75% of the anticipated bolus for the meal and the algorithm handles the rest. Just to reiterate, there is no point where you decide how much insulin for this pump to give you. You never state how many carbs you're eating, you never set a basal rate, no insulin to carb ratio, no correction factor. This is taking all of those metrics out of your hands. You literally just tell the pump what meal it is, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and are you eating the same, more, or less? That's it. It uses this info combined with the data it gets from your Dexcom G6 to create both your basal and your bolus rates. Now thinking about what I just said and how little work you have to put into this pump, you're probably like me and thinking, how is it possible that this thing is going to keep my blood sugar as well controlled as when I was in control and telling it specifically how many carbs? There's no way that I can trust this to keep my blood sugars under control. Well, that's why the results of the recent study are so impressive. So let's talk about that next. So this was a big trial, over 400 participants, all different ages, adults, teenagers, kids as young as six years old. A third of the participants were patients that were already using a pump with automated insulin delivery, so like the T-Slim or Omnipod 5. Another group were just using regular insulin pumps with no automated insulin delivery. And then the last group were people that were on multiple daily injections. What they found in the individuals using the islet insulin pump after three months was that across the board, there was a reduction in A1C of 0.5%. So half a point decrease in A1C in the individuals using this new insulin pump. In addition to that, they found that the time and range in the individuals using this pump increased by 2.6 hours a day, and there was no increase in hypoglycemia in all of the individuals that were using this pump. So 0.5 decrease in A1C, 2.6 increase in time and range daily, and no increase in hypoglycemia across the board for all of these individuals using the pump. To be honest, as easy as this pump is going to make our lives as diabetics, I'd be okay if they said the results of the studies indicated that there was no improvement in A1C, everybody's blood sugar stayed exactly the same. Because the trade-off using a pump like this, decreasing the burden, the stress, no more calculating carbs, and just basically adding all of those hours back into our lives that we can just focus on enjoying our lives, that alone is enough of an improvement and I'd be fine with no improvement in A1C. But the fact that they said that these individuals actually had an improvement in their A1C is just such exciting news to hear and just so promising to hear that there was actually an improvement in the blood sugar values of these people that were using this pump. So not only is it going to make your life easier, your blood sugars are actually gonna get better with less work on your end. So as encouraging as this is to hear the results of this study, how easy this insulin pump is gonna to be to use, they actually have an even better pump that's in the works. So the pump that they're also working on is going to be using glucagon in addition to insulin. And just as a little side note, if you take a look at the picture of the insulin pump I showed you before, you can see that second chamber there off to the side. That's actually where the glucagon is going to go. And they said once this new pump comes out that you won't actually have to change any of the hardware, it'll already be ready. 
that it's likely just going to be a software upgrade for this new pump. So once this is out, that'll be a truly closed loop system. So that's another really exciting thing that we'll be looking out for sometime in the near future. So back to the eyelet bionic pancreas that we talked about today. When is this thing coming out? When can we actually get our hands on it? Well, it's actually sooner than you would think. So the pump is currently in the hands of the FDA and the results of this study that I went over today are part of the package that they presented to the FDA to get this thing approved. And what makes me think that we may see this pump sooner than later is that back in 2019, the eyelet was granted what's called a breakthrough device designation designation by the FDA. So this breakthrough device designation is reserved for devices that could provide more effective treatment for life-threatening conditions, such as diabetes, which this obviously fits that description. So this basically means that the FDA will prioritize the review of this device, which should hopefully speed up the timeline for approval. So keep an eye out for this pump, hopefully sometime in the near future. I would love to see it sooner than later, and it sounds like that may be the case. So that is the Eyelet Bionic Insulin Pump, probably one of the most exciting pieces of technology on the horizon for diabetics. I'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments, so please let me know. And thank you, as always, for watching the video.